Hello and welcome to this video course on AWS Certification Exams, Kinesis Essentials. The purpose of this course is to provide detailed introduction to Amazon Kinesis platform. This course is going to introduce you to various services under Kinesis platform and prepare you for the AWS Certification Exams including associate and professional level kinesis topics. Even if you are not preparing for AWS certification exams, this course help you to gain in-depth knowledge in Amazon kinesis platform and services. The only area which we are not going to cover is developing kinesis based applications using AWS SDK or software development kit. Still, we use some sample code or templates but not developing anything from scratch using SDK. Before we get started, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Prem Raj Jayaprakash, go by Raj. I have been working in IT for the past 20 years. In the last five of which I have been leading DevOps and cloud practices for various Fortune 500 clients. I have been part-time trainer for the last 12 years in software build release, DevOps and cloud domains. I work with over 1000 students from various parts of the world. Also, I am the founder of AWS Pro Academy. AWS Pro Academy provides affordable online live classes conducted by AWS certified professionals. Our exam preparation class is designed to ensure that you pass the AWS certification exam on the first try. Please check out AWS Pro Academy for more information. And if you'd like to receive sample exam questions and exam tips, please sign up our newsletter at signup.awspro.academy. Don't forget to check out other section of AWS Pro Academy website where you can find free resources like study guide, video courses, and sample exam simulator. What you will be learning in this course? In this course, I will be covering the Kinesis platform and three core Kinesis services. Kinesis is a platform for collecting, processing, and delivering streaming data on AWS. You can use Kinesis platform to load and analyze streaming data and also build custom streaming data applications for specialized needs. In most cases, streaming data is continuously produced by thousands of data sources. Also, they are delivered at the same time in small size, mostly in kilobytes. Examples of streaming data includes log files generated by servers or applications, game data generated by players in a gaming software, content generated from social media network like Facebook or LinkedIn, even data generated from financial trading floors or IoT devices can be excellent source for streaming data. Kinesis platform supports three different services, Kinesis Streams, Kinesis Firehose, and Kinesis Analytics. Kinesis streams are used to collect and process large streams of data records in real time. It collects data from the providers. Again, providers can be the servers that produces the logs or IoT devices that transit data continuously. And it uses the consumer to process or read data from the streams. Kinesis Firehose mainly used to deliver real-time streaming data to 
other AWS services, including S3 and Redshift. It delivers data to the consumers directly. It is a data injection product and cannot be used to build applications to consume or process the data from the Firehose directly. The last service, Kinesis Analytics, process and analyze the streaming data with standard SQL or SQL. Using Kinesis Analytics, you can execute SQL queries against streaming data source to perform analytics, feed real-time dashboards, and create real-time metrics. Let's look at these services one by one. In this session, we will see Kinesis Streams. As I mentioned before, Kinesis Streams collect and process large streams of data records in real time. It is capable of capturing large amounts of data, terabytes per hour, from data providers or producers. It supports rapid and continuous data intake and aggregation. Imagine if it can be used to capture data from IT infrastructure services, web or application servers, or web clickstream data generated by sites like Netflix. The data processing application which consumes data from Kinesis streams known as Amazon Kinesis applications. They read data from the Kinesis stream as data records. These applications can use the Kinesis client library or KCL or SDK and they can run on any Amazon EC2 instance. The process records can be sent to dashboards, used to generate alerts, dynamically change pricing strategies, and send data to variety of other AWS services. Here are some use cases of Kinesis streams. Faster log and data feed intake and processing. By using streams, you can have producers push data directly into stream. Let's say you are using hundreds of web server to serve your web traffic. Each web server has application, system, access and error logs which are updated every second. You can push these logs directly into streams and they will be available for processing in seconds. Because of this flexibility, you don't need to collect or hold data in batches on the servers or worry about losing the data if server fails. Let's go to the next use case. Real-time metrics and reporting. You can use data collected into Kinesis streams for real-time data analysis and reporting. Your data processing application or consumer can process data immediately as the data is streaming in, rather than waiting to receive them in batches. What is the next use case? Sample for real-time data analytics. Using streams, you can combine the power of parallel processing with the real-time data. For example, you can collect and process website click streams in real time and then analyze the site usability engagement using multiple different Kinesis streams application running in parallel. One application provides information about user navigation pattern, one for what to upsell and one for better performing callouts. All using the real time data are based on action from the current active users. The last use case, complex stream processing. You can move data from multiple Amazon Kinesis stream application into another stream for downstream processing by a different streams application. You can create 
DAG or directed A cycle graphs and data streams using Kinesis applications. Hope you got the idea now where we can use Kinesis streams. While Kinesis streams can help you to solve many streaming data problems, a common use is real-time aggregation of data, unloading and aggregating the data into data warehouse or MapReduce cluster. Kinesis streams support high durability and elasticity of the infrastructure. The delay between the time a record is put into a stream and the time it can be retrieved to get delay is typically less than one second. Therefore, less than a second, Kinesis application can start consuming the data from the stream almost immediately after the data is added. Elastic nature of Kinesis streams enable you to scale up or down so that you never lose data records prior to their expiration. Multiple Kinesis stream application can consume the data from a stream so that multiple action can take place concurrently and independently. For example, two applications can read the data from the same stream. The first application can watermark the images and the second application compress and archive the images and upload them into S3. This diagram shows the high level architecture of Kinesis streams. The producer continuously push the data to Kinesis stream and the consumer process the data in real time. Consumers such as custom applications running on Amazon EC2 or Amazon Kinesis Firehose delivery stream can store these results using an AWS services such as DynamoDB, Redshift or S3. The unit of data stored by Kinesis stream called data record. A stream represents ordered sequence of data records. The data records in a stream are distributed into shards. A shard is a group of data records in a stream. When you create a stream, you specify the number of shards for the stream. We will learn more about these components in the next session. This concludes the overview of Kinesis streams. Hope you enjoy this session. See you in the next session. In this session, we will see various components of Kinesis streams. A stream is composed of one or more shards. Each Kinesis stream's throughput is measured based on number of shards used in the stream. One shard supports up to 1000 put records per second or write maximum total data of 1 MB per second. When I say put records or write capacity, it means the capacity of producers to add or write data into a stream. From read capacity side, each shard can support up to 5 transactions per second or read up to 2 MB per second. Read data means the capacity of consumers to read data from a stream. You will specify the number of shards needed when you create a stream. For example, you can create a stream with two shards. If you have a stream with two shards, then the stream has a throughput of 2 MB per second for data input and 4 MB per second for data output and allows up to 2000 put records per second. If the throughput limits are exceeded because of the number of put records, the put data call will be rejected with the provision throughput exceeded exception. If the exception is due to sudden or temporary rise of streams input data rate, the producer can retry the put request multiple times. 
If you are constantly getting the exception message, you should increase the number of shots within your stream to provide enough capacity. By default, records of a stream are accessible up to 24 hours from the time they are added to a stream. You can raise this limit up to 7 days by enabling extended data retention. A record is a unit of data stored in a stream. Therefore, stream is an ordered sequence of data records. Again, shards for unit of throughput measurement and records are unit of data in a stream. Data records are composed of a sequence number, partition key and data blob. Data blob is the real data that a data producer adds or writes into a stream. Kinesis stream does not modify, check or change the data in the blob in any way. A data blob can be up to 1 MB in size. Partition keys used to segregate and route records to a different shards of a stream. A partition key is specified by your data producer while writing or adding data into a Kinesis stream. Basically, using partition key, you can specify in which shard you want to add that piece of data. It is more like an identifier for a shard. Let's say if we have two shards, shard 1 and shard 2, you can configure your data producers to use two partition keys, key 1 and key 2, so that all records with key 1 are added to shard 1 and all records with key 2 are added to shard 2. A sequence number is a unique identifier for each record. It is like an auto-generated primary key in RDBMS table. Sequence number is assigned by Kinesis when a data producer calls put record or put records operations to add data into a stream. You can send data records to a stream using API calls put record and put records. Kinesis API is available part of AWS SDK. In addition to API, we have a couple of other tools. Amazon Kinesis Producer Library or KPL is a simple, easy to configure library that helps you to add data to Kinesis Stream. It acts as a mediator between your producer application code and Kinesis APIs. Amazon Kinesis Agent is a Java based application that collects and sends data to a stream. Like any other agents, we can install this on any Linux based server, including web or database servers. The agent monitors certain files and continuously sends the data from those files to a stream based on the configuration. In addition to above tools and API, as always, you can use CLI to perform basic Kinesis Streams operation. We will be doing this in our next lab session.